Okay, so it's taken a while, but we're back online. Uh, a lot has been happening. Uh, I've grown a beard, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty ugly beard. Uh, the reason for that will become apparent very soon. Uh, it's kind of like my last year where I shaved half off and I wasn't gonna have a shave to the land of the move. Well, as you can tell, the landing of the move isn't quite there yet. Uh, it was meant to be a really dry double forward. That's what I thought. And I thought I'm not going to have a shave till I've done it. I only decided to do it in January and already had a pretty good beard by then. Uh, since then I've hurt my back and I've not really been sailing that much and basically I haven't done one. So I've still got this massive big beard and it's getting bigger and bigger. Uh, hopefully my back's getting a bit better now and wind hopefully should be good and I'll get my shit together and I'll land one then I can have a shave hopefully before I get home otherwise I'm gonna definitely scare a few people on the way home anyway what's been happening WA has it been good this year I tell you what it's been fripping firing uh, I don't know what it's been around the rest of the world well actually I do know UK has been going off Red Bull Storm Chase storm after storm after storm I think the Red Bull Storm Chase was just one of many but it looks like it's been a good season back in England it's been a really good season here in WA uh, and Specifically, I would have to say Geraldton. This is Coronation Beach behind us. If you've not ever been to WA, this is probably the most easy, accessible, wave sailing, jumping, a uh, bit of freestyle flat water on the inside. It's just a playground, real fun place. Uh, I've spent a lot of time here. Justine has been uh, practicing a lot and really improving. I don't want to give too much away, but she is on fire at the moment. Really getting her back is sorted. Her forwards are looking good. So Justine has had a really good season. And we've, like I said, I've spent a lot of time here. Uh, I haven't even been to Nalu yet, which is crazy. I mean, that fly just landed on my glasses and remind me of Nalu. Haven't been. It's always coincided with me missing and I had to do something and I've not been. So basically, I've been spending a lot of time jumping, which is probably why my back isn't good. So, who's firing? Who's going on? Who's uh, on it on the water, should I say? Jager Stone. I haven't actually got much video of him at all. If I don't even know if I've got any, I'd have to have a look through. But he is sailing really good. He's doing the full PWA tour this year. So it's going to be really exciting, I reckon, to see how he gets on. Because he's got super smooth, stylish wave rides. Just chucking the tail out. Tackers and some big ass jumping. Not seen him do any doubles yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's on the card. That's how he hurt his ankle last time. So I think he's reining it in. But uh, I expect to see him busting him out in the next next few weeks hopefully before I go and get some on video um, this is gonna be a short diary just a little bit of a, a, a pre diary for the next one because I need to go through the footage and work out what we've got but basically uh, who have we got here maybe not the big names you used to hear him but there's a lot of good sort of national sailors come out and I'll tell you what the Germans have sent a few boys out there this year uh, and these boys have been going for it one name in particular Martin we called him Mad Martin he came here his forwards were a little bit I'm not going to say, I'm a bit dodgy, we've sorted him out, we've been, uh, we've, I've been doing a bit of coaching, I won't lie to you, and now he is just the forward master, just busting him out, big stall ones all the time, stalled off like chops, stalled off big waves, just stalled, stalled, stalled forward, that's all he seems to do, his board is kind of in one piece, uh, actually I have to say, before I go any further, the German boys, they, they've had a few vans since they've been here, but their last one is the beast, it's like something out of uh, Breaking bad. It, it, it's brilliant. It's just this massive big Toyota thing. Uh, 1978 it was made. That's a good year, I tell you what. Uh, that's when uh, yours truly was made. Uh, so, and the thing is just a beast. They've not done too many road trips in it, but it is. Uh, I don't know. There's nowhere to put the kit. It's massive. It's a weird van. It's massive. There's nowhere to put the kit, so they're shoving it on the roof. Anyway, so those boys have been here. Johannes, obviously, he's staying in the van. Uh, they also had uh, another guy. Uh, we've got Ollie as well. Ollie the six pack got some sort of uh, dodgy suntan six pack the other day made me laugh uh, <laughs> uh, and there's another guy that's actually uh, gone home right now uh, we went home quite a bit ago uh, but they had some funny antics with him uh, basically the boys are having some food fight antics it was all going a bit on Lucas the guy who's gone home now he they basically been playing something again anyway he goes to the toilet before going sailing comes out uh, sticks his uh, Short shorts on, whatever else, go sailing. 
comes in and his nuts are on fire. I'm talking, they are on fire. And he does look, you know, he's in pain. He comes running into the van, whips his pants down, and he's standing there in the middle of the car park, just naked, just checking them out because it's something wrong. He's been to the toilet before, so he thinks he's been bitten by some sort of crazy creature over there, which, you know, there's a lot of creatures over there that can bite you, so it's understandable. And he's just looking in pain. And the boys are keeping a pretty straight face at this point. I didn't know about this, I caught up with this afterwards. They've actually given me the video, so these bits are from the boys. Uh, basically, he comes in, he can't, he doesn't know what to do. He goes and sits in the water with a cold can of coke. He starts putting a can of coke on him, he's trying to cool him down. They're burning hot. He comes in, he can't take any more. He's like, boys, you've got to take him to the hospital. I think I've been bitten. And he's going, mine eggs, mine eggs. <laughs> I'm burning. It's, that's not a very good accent, but that's pretty much what he's saying. Oh, so the boys end up, basically, what happened is, He'd gone to the toilet and he's got these iron ball buster pants for you know, and they'd filled them with chilli powder. So they chuck a load of chilli powder and he stuck them on and uh, his eggs were burning and he didn't like it one little bit. Uh, and he saw the funny side and uh, that was a good laugh. So that was my introduction to the Germans. Uh, but they're good crack uh, and it's been, it has been a very good trip with them boys. Like I said, I get motivated by, motivated by people trying stuff and Martin has motivated me this trip just seeing him have some big stacks. I talked to Push Loop the other day uh, and he's one of these people that you tell him something and he just goes and does it. So you have to be careful what you say. If you say the wrong thing, he's going to go up like, you know, 20 foot in the air and try it and if it isn't right, it'll land on his head. He did that. He did an end up full tweet, like push loop, like perfect position, but didn't quite push down on it. Came down, landed on the sail. Uh, after that, that was when I actually had to give him a few tips. But anyway, it, like I said, it's been a very good trip. Uh, it's been pumping. We've had we've had injuries, obviously, obviously have injuries on the diaries. Steph, Steph Hilda turns up. Uh, he didn't make it very far. I think he had a, probably about a two hour session uh, and then tried to spock on the way in. Somehow found the only bit of sticky out, spiky reef in the whole of Coronation Beach uh, and just plonked his foot on it. Ripped his foot open pretty much. Everyone was just like this. It was pretty minging. The flapper skin off the bottom and there was fat oozing out. Oh, look away, because those pictures are pretty horrendous. I didn't have the heart to get the video out. Probably should have. He probably would have loved it afterwards. So he's been hobbling around and obviously his partner, Sarah Bibby, she's been here. She's been busting out some moves uh, and motivating Justina, which is always good because see the girls on the water. Uh, those guys actually got a heli shoot with uh, Colin from Windsurf Australia down in Margie's for the competition. We actually didn't end up going down because we were stuck in training mode up here filming, filming, filming. Uh, so yeah, so those guys have been out here, they had a bit of unfortunate, he's had to stitch that now, so that's all good. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try and do more diaries, got loads of other stuff, we've had some 10 year old kid called Connor from Perth, he came up, we give him a few tips on a forward, I missed his best one, which he's gotten, but 10 years old, and he's going for him. I tell you what, it ain't long before he's going to be landing some forward, so watch out for that name, Connor, watch out for him, because he is a little bit of just more diaries that's just a quick snippet of what's been going on and uh, we'll catch you soon from australia i'm back actually home in uh, three weeks so we've got three weeks of proper diaries coming up uh, so stay tuned